haven't been that firm believer in creating vision boards well i do set my goals for the year but i have never been that person to create a vision board and follow through it even when i set my goals for the year i just set these goals i never try to follow through i'm just be like okay i'm writing this is what i want god for me to do this year and i pray and i just let it be and to be honest with you guys i don't even remember some things i just write it down somewhere and i just never go back to it um which is why this year 2023 i have decided to do things differently i mean i want to take that leap of faith do things differently create a vision board where i am seeing it i want it to be all up in my face i want to put it on my um, screensaver on my phone on my monitor on my laptop on my two ipads i want to put it in the on the refrigerator downstairs i'm gonna be printing it out sticking it here in my office like i want to put it in my face i want to be so deliberate so intentional with my vision um, board this year with my goals this year and see how soon I can bring this to accomplishment. Okay, yes, fine. A lot of people, you know, be like, ah, I've written it down. I'm just going to leave it for God to take care of it. But at the same time, if you're not following through with those goals that you have written down, how do you even know if that is the plan that God wants for you? You know, you just write it down and you just leave. They say faith without works is dead. So I do believe right now, in this year 2023 that i just entered at going ahead to put it down on a vision board where i can see it it will make me bring it into actualization and if it's not god's plan for my year it's not gonna work it's if it's not god's plan for me this year 2023 it is not gonna work out no matter what i do so then i would know that oh yeah god didn't actually want this for me it is what i wanted for myself but it was not his plan for me so um that is why this year i am challenging myself i am taking that leap of faith that bold step that leap of faith to go ahead create a vision board put it all up in my face walk towards it and let god do the rest okay um i don't want this video to be too long so i'm just gonna go ahead and walk you guys through how i created my vision board for the year 2023 i have seen a lot of youtube videos a lot of people create their vision boards on their ipad on their um laptop but for me, I'm someone that I spend a lot of time on my phone, which is what I one of the things I'm trying to work on this year as well. I want to spend more time being more productive and not just on my phone. And even if I'm going to be on my phone, I should spend it spend that time that I'm using on my phone being even more productive. So which is why I decided to create my own vision board on my phone. Um I'm going to walk you guys through how I created this vision board on my phone real quick. And let's be realistic. A lot of people spend most times on their phone. If you want to know how to create your digital vision board on your phone, I suggest you stay tuned and watch through the, till the end of this video. So in actual reality, to create a digital vision board on your phone doesn't take you nothing less than 10 minutes if you know how to use your um, apps very well but be for the sake of this video because it's gonna be like a training so definitely it's gonna be slow so i'll suggest you please be patient i mean patience is part of the things we want to be accomplishing this year right so i'll suggest you stay tuned and please watch until the very end of this video and if you're just tuning into my channel for the very first time i want to say a very warm welcome to you my name is nike thank you so much for being here today and to all my returning subscribers happy new year i appreciate appreciate each and every one of you thanks so much for all the love in 2022 this is my first time trying a vision board and i decided i was going to do it digital on my phone so if you want to know how i made this stay tuned and let's quickly go ahead and make this vision board so i'm going to be using the adobe express editor here you come home you come to home and then in home here um we have different templates as you can see so it's templates for you so it depends on whichever one the good thing about adobe is they have um flyers instagram post instagram story logos youtube thumbnail templates facebook post templates cards invitation business cards so for me i don't know what is wrong with me but for some reason i just decided to scroll down because i like food when i saw menus i was like oh okay i think i'm gonna go to menus so i made use of this particular template this was a template that i converted so 
I went ahead and I clicked on it. Now that I've clicked on it, it's time for me to start editing this template. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything on here. And because I really don't like the color, so you can decide to use whatever color preference that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on colors. I'm um, sorry, guys, I didn't click on it. So click, make sure you click on the background itself. And then you go ahead and you click on colors so i wanted something more bright which you guys saw i used the pink one so this time around for the purpose of this video i'm gonna be making use of the pink template too so i feel like this is too bright for me so i'll go ahead and use this one and then now that i do have it on here the next thing that i'm gonna do is go ahead to add my photos or um the design assets whatever it is i want to use so i went stickers as you guys can see here so i'm just going to go ahead and click on stickers and then on stickers here i'm going to click on the search and type photos so now this is because i want to stick these photos to my um vision board okay so i'm just going to see if i'll find anything that i want here hmm. So let's remove the S. Yep. So this is a template I wanted, but when I scroll down, I saw a better template. So I went ahead to use this template. So now that I have this template on here, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and click on duplicate. So two, three, four, five, six. Well, I think I'm going to make it five for the purpose of this video because I already have my vision board laid out. But I just decided I want to share with you guys how to make a vision board on your phone. Pretty easy. It doesn't take more than 10 minutes. So now that I've duplicated it, I do have six of this template on here. I'm going to go ahead and arrange the template on my background. So this is one. It's too small. Two. So now I do have all this on here, as you guys can see. So the next thing I'm going to go to here is look for my picture. So I'm going to click on add and I can go directly to my own photos, my photo library and just look for pictures. So obviously when you're creating a vision board, you always think about your family. So I'm going to find a family picture and... The closest family picture, sorry I cancelled guys. The closest family picture, obviously, because it's the holiday period, is this one. That's the closest on my album right now. So now that I am adding it, I'll go ahead and click on move freely. And then come here. It's going to be here. And I'm um, going to click on the fixed picture. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here which says crop and shear so free form or i can make it into the square shape here so whatever part i know i want to um crop out of the picture i go ahead and crop it out just to let it fit it into the box of the picture then once i'm done with that i click on free form done so what i usually do is um i go ahead and drag this to fit in and then make it a little bit smaller so you guys see how easy that was and then i'm gonna click on add again so for me um <laughs> before i can begin i kind of felt like i needed a bible scripture for the year which i already do have um and i got that from my bible app um gonna go ahead and insert it in here so the first bible scripture that came to my mind was psalm 19 verse 14 which says the words of my heart be pleasing to you O lord so no matter what you're doing guys always you always want to make sure you include god um so i'm gonna go ahead the same way edit this just crop it in so this is my own scripture for the year. I'm holding on to God's word because without him, guys, <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to do this vision board. I won't be able to achieve my vision board for the year. So I'll go ahead now and also make this to fit in, crop and share. Just take my time. Done. And it is done. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the other pictures in here. You guys should just watch and see. Um, 
<clears throat> done so now you can also search for pictures from adobe stock um because i had already made the vision board so i already do have pictures here that i want to use so but for the purpose of this video i'm gonna go ahead and search so i'm gonna click on search here and i'm gonna type vacation obviously myself and my family want to be traveling on vacation this year so i would now look for something that fits into where we want to go to or if it's just a family picture like this you know the whole family going on vacation that's fine too as well you know it depends on where you want to go it depends on the dream that you have the place you want to visit if you want to go to the beach but guys always remember as i always say please and please and please and please avoid using pictures that have the crown on it because of copyright you don't want to get copyrighted as you guys can see so yeah, love lots of lovely, lovely pictures here. So just wanted to show you guys where I got my pictures from. So um since we're still on that vacation, I sought for cruise. I'm not sure I'm gonna be going on that, but here guys. So I already have my pictures saved on here. So this vacation. Drawing closer to God, you know. Read my Bible more, focus on God's word. So I'm just gonna go ahead right now and click on add and then it gives you the option to add as a collage or more freely so because i'm not making anything that has to do with a collage right now i'm just going to go ahead and say more freely because i'm going to edit the pictures into my photo templates that i do have here okay guys so now that i'm done with that part um gonna go ahead and show you some other aspects of making this vision board real quick um so um i have gone ahead and put in everything that i did have here well this is not everything on my vision board but just for the sake of this video guys remember just for the sake of this video so i do have my family obviously this year i want to teach my kids the scripture more i want to spend time with the family more family bonding time you know build self-confidence for my kids a new approach to parenting and then here we do have the vacation we want to go somewhere if it's a cruise fine but we just want to go somewhere that maybe has a beach water it depends on what you have on your own vision board and then savings i want to go ahead and save more this year be more prudent in my spending invest more here I want to have build my spiritual relationship more with Christ. And then also, um, which is why I have my scripture here, which is what I'm going to be holding on to, which says, May the words of my heart be pleasing unto you, O Lord. You know, in Psalm 119, verse 105, it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet. Uh, your word is a lamp for my feet and the light on my path. I want God to shed his light more on my path this year. You know, going forward in the year 2023, I want to have build, have and build a very more closer relationship with God. I mean, guys, without Christ, I can't do anything. So I just want this to be my verse of the year, which is what I'm going to be holding on to throughout the year 2023. And then if we come down here, I want to lose more weight because, guys, your girl added some weight last year, you know. So <laughs> I want to exercise more because we have a gym downstairs but i'm super lazy and then here i want to build my social media following on facebook instagram and on tiktok i, I really don't like tiktok but i want to work on it and you know here i just want to stay focused i want to stay focused i have other things on my vision board but this is what i want to share with you guys just for the purpose of this video okay so <clears throat> now we're gonna have to name this vision board so i'm gonna show you guys what i do i'm gonna go ahead click text and then on the text um my bible verse let's start with my bible verse so click on dawn so i'm just gonna go ahead and edit this to fit into do you guys see that let me zoom it so you guys can see so see how super easy that was and then done if i don't want it to be this color i can go ahead and click on it go to colors and then i just go ahead and change this to black which is better i think black is better it's visible on anything any surface so you guys can see that it's more visible this way and then done i'm gonna click on done technically and then go ahead click on add again and then my text uh let's type vacation done so yes, yeah, girl, I want to go on vacation. I'm gonna go ahead, make this smaller, 
put this here. Mm -hmm. Dawn and text family. Dawn. I really don't need to put what I want for concerning my family on this vision board since I already do have it in mind. And you know, now you guys know I already know what I want, so you name it whatever you want to name it, okay. Okay, guys, so I finished naming everything, and um, it's not compulsory. What I want to do now is really not necessary. You can go ahead and add a grid, but if you don't want to, you really don't have to. So, all you go, you click on add again, it's no good. You go to design assets, and then on design assets, what you do here is type grid. So, now it has different types of grids for you to play around with, so you guys can see always avoid the grids with a crown please anything with a crown <laughs> depending on your plan though always try and avoid it so for me uh i don't know i haven't seen anyone that fits yet but for the purpose of this video i think we can just use anything so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this one and then i'm gonna click add get it all the way to the middle and i'm gonna click on um pin to background so you guys see it just made it look just you know quite beautiful but you know it just gave it that beautiful look so now i'm done with the grid i'm gonna click on done okay guys so now i'm gonna go ahead and type in a vision board which is what we're doing so we just want to type it in here vision board so I've gone ahead to type it in here and that is it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just play with this, you know, make it fit into what I want it to be like. You guys can see right now the color is like gold. So I don't want it to just remain that way. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with it. Go to colors, opacity. I'm going to go to colors. I've clicked on colors. So I go to opacity. Effects. So, ah. Uh, it doesn't look so good it doesn't look so good so <laughs> i don't want that let's try this nah i don't want that uh i just this looks a lot better um let me zoom it in for you guys to see this looks a lot better to me vision board so I'm just going to go ahead. One thing I like about Adobe is Adobe recommends to you as well. So if you don't like it, you can always use Adobe, Adobe's recommended um, text. So you can always go with Adobe's recommendation. If you really don't like what um, is being, what is on here, you can always go with recommendations, which is always what I do because obviously they are the ones that know better, right? So I'll go ahead and choose one. If I see that this doesn't match, nah, none of it matches, guys. So I can go ahead to fonts, change it to lobster. I kind of feel like I like this. Everyone loves cursive, Abby. <laughs> Everyone loves cursive, so I kind of feel like I like this better. But still, I'm going to click on it. You know, go ahead to click on it and see if Adobe has better recommendations for me. Yeah, I think I like this better. Done. So you guys see. So I'm just going to drag it all the way up here to the top. So one thing that is always needed on the vision board is a calendar. So I'm going to go to add a game. Click on add a game. And because I already have my calendar already, I'm just going to show you guys what you can do or um how i did mine so adobe stock you can go to you can just type 20 23 calendar so this is what i used and lucky me it did not have 
the crown on it so i went ahead and i used this i already have this saved on my stock you can go to google as well and type calendar and obviously because this vision board is on my phone i really don't need a full calendar but this was closer to what i needed um so that is why i went with this and voila guys <laughs> that is it we are done with our vision board done if you still have stuff you want to add to your vision board you can always go ahead and add it so i'm just going to go ahead and click on save so i'm not going to be saving it as a video i'm going to be saving it as a download so right now it is preparing my project saves to camera roll okay guys so now that you guys have seen my vision board um i'll suggest you go ahead and create your own vision board challenge yourself this year you know the way i function i am someone that if you're always putting it in my face i'm like Ugh! leave me alone like why are you stressing me out so i'll suggest you go ahead and challenge yourself this year push yourself off your limits Get yourself to that uncomfortable place that um, will make you to do better as a person. It all depends on you. It all depends on the plans that you have for yourself. Make your vision board exciting. Um, you know, you can always play around with it. That's why you do have these editing apps that you can use. Create it. If you have to have it on your phone all the time, make use of it. Take advantage of it, guys. And always remember that faith without works is dead. So work towards those goals and you'll see yourself achieving it um this year let me just let you guys in on something so for this year's christmas you guys know i love christmas so much i have challenged myself in my saving um outline that i did make i said i want to start saving for christmas in january it is something that is doable even if i have to save 20 dollars monthly it is something that is doable okay so um i don't want to get to a stage where i'm just spending and spending the way i spent last year um i want to make conscious effort i want to be deliberate so go ahead and take this step this leap of faith and i wish you all the best in the year 2023 um you don't really need to create a vision board in january if you don't want to you can create a vision board anytime but it is always good to have that sense of direction that goal and seeing it in your face all the time gives you that sense of urgency as well all right guys remember if you're new to my channel do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button turn on your notification bell um and also hit the like button as well okay i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.